a mess in here. Um, talking to my best friend over text. She's at Coachella. And getting ready to make some macaroni and cheese. Here goes the rapidly boiling water. And now the pasta in the rapidly boiling water. What's up, guys? It's Shauna, aka Mrs. Wealthy Wallet, looking for some utensils. Not the ones I'm looking for. Yes. <laughs> So guys how y'all doing it is easter so happy easter to everyone who is celebrating i am literally like yeah yeah i'm literally going um i'm having easter dinner at my family's house um my cousin is hosting this time so i don't have to host which is a plus because I, I i hosted thanksgiving and christmas for the past three years or something like that like usually Christmas excuse me for a second <coughs> and last year I did both Thanksgiving and Christmas and I promised myself I'm not gonna do that anymore so yeah um I told the rest of the family it's on them to host as much as I like you know not having to leave home um hold on for a second this has been uh, how long has this been it's been a minute so I need six minutes on this I'll turn it off when they timer goes off but yeah as much as I hate to leave home to go and do things guys I get sick of the preparation for the event anywho so this week uh, pretty big week um, this week coming up is pretty big week it's a lot of traveling going on so in and out of the house uh, I'm traveling at some point my husband's traveling so yeah got a lot of that stuff going on so I will give you all the update on the cash amount I'm gonna once again take the crop of face um because I didn't get my last $36 out of the bank I went ahead and took the $16 and change to the bank and deposited it so I was supposed to get $20 out on Friday plus the 16 back and I did not do that so I will do that tomorrow because I have to travel for work on Tuesday 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 so yeah I'm gonna be working on that did she answer me no okay um <laughs> but yeah gonna be working on that and I uh, spent a lot of money yesterday not even gonna lie um, I did spend a lot of money yesterday and I don't feel guilty about it. Um, spoiled my husband, really did. And basically talked about our plans for like my birthday and so on and so forth. So that's where we are right now. Uh, yeah, I'm here somewhere. Am I here? Okay. Uh, yeah, so other than that, guys, I'm just continuing on to pay the Navient. I have rearranged all of my auto debits and all of my payments and things like that in order to um, divide our budget up back to weekly guys on top of everything else that I'm doing I am making cookies so <laughs> um, I apparently have this recipe that my family loves so I make cookies for them as dessert because they're small and if you're on a diet you can have one if you're blowing up your diet, you can have multiples. So I'm just going to drop some cookies real quick. So yeah, guys. So um, yeah, I rearranged the budget. I changed my, um, not car payment. What is it? Um, changed my insurance payment because my insurance payment went down and I've been overpaying one of my bills. So I have changed my insurance payment in order to um, make sure that I am paying the correct amount instead of overpaying every month. I also went ahead and programmed my car payment because y'all know my car payment is due bi-monthly I pay it weekly in order to curtail some of the interest um, student loan debt still going tried and true I've added an extra six dollars so far to the student loan debt and I'll tell you why I haven't added more is because I got a bill from 2018 for um, scans that they had done on me for the uh, cancer screening. So that bill was like 200 and some dollars. So I literally called them and said, hey, can I get a payment plan? So they are like, okay, fine. So this costing me like $80 a month starting in May. But you all know I have no plans of starting in May. I'm starting immediately. I like to go ahead and pay it off as soon as possible. 
So I am paying that off now um, with $22 a week until it is paid in full. Um, Y'all see I got the bechamel sauce going and then like I said I got the noodles going over here. So I'm just waiting for it to uh, thicken and once it thickens then I can move on to the next thing which is putting it into the tray and that's still warm. Not too Okay, putting it in the tray and starting up on that. So we're at two minutes here. I'm going to put this in. So cookies only go down for nine minutes. So that's why I was making sure I was keeping track of the minutes that I had um, going. So yeah, put an extra $6 towards the student loan until I get the debt paid off for the medical expense. Once that's paid off, then I will up the student loan again. Um, probably somewhere in the difference of that $22 a week. Um, trying to think of what else. I could probably do more than that, tell you the truth, because of the fact that I think I have about $90 left over, but I kind of build a buffer into the account in case something pops up that I wasn't expecting. So um, I'm gonna continue to work on that. But as far as the student loan goes, you all, here is the balance for the student loan. I'm getting ready to cross another thousand dollar thresh mark this week. I won't be here to celebrate it, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I'm getting ready to cross another thousand dollar threshold. So I'm excited about that. We're gonna continue on. So we're gonna try to get August 13th to back up a little bit more to make it to the point where it's gonna be before that last payment that we actually pay it off. So that's all I got right now, guys. I'm gonna to continue to cook. The bechamel is finally starting to thicken. So I gotta get ready to add all the cheese and all that fun stuff. I hope you all are having a great Easter and until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace. Light. Hey, so I just wanted to drop in real quick before I go to show you all my cookies. I have one more batch in the oven and my macaroni and cheese is done. So yeah, until next time guys, I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.